Hi, I'm Max Stanton. It's July 8th. This is the BAM Weekly Muni Market Update. I'm here with David Young from BAM's Capital Markets Desk. David, thank you for being with us. Um, interesting, uh, big news day in the marketplace. The, uh, the second most important economic report of the month came out this morning, the June unemployment report. What did we learn? Yeah, so, uh, you know, like you said, we had the jobs data come out today and the Labor Department reported a gain of 372,000 in non-farm payrolls versus an expectation of 265,000. Um, unemployment rate remained unchanged at 3.6%, and um, we saw a slight uptick in wage growth. So, you know, when we kind of look at this data and when we try to interpret it, um, I think it really suggests that while the labor market is slowing down a bit, still showing uh, signs of strength. So, you know, the question kind of remains, does the Fed continue to focus on fighting inflation without you know, any fear of impacting the labor market. Uh, you know, I think we've heard some pundits argue the labor market, is, you know, because it's not showing signs of uh, slowing down, uh, which typically in a recession, you would see, you know, the labor market come to uh, kind of a halt. And, you know, right now it's still very, very tight. Um, but at the same, uh, at the same time, uh, I think some would argue that the labor market's a lagging indicator. And so the Fed, you know, still needs to proceed with caution. Um, you know, kind of looking later this month, uh, we will uh, see Q2 US GDP data. Uh, you know, technically speaking, uh, by definition, recession is uh, kind of two consecutive quarters of economic slowdown. So, you know, all eyes will be on uh, that data later this month. Uh, and then, like you said, we saw jobs data and, and uh, you know, how did that affect equities, uh, we kind of see Dow, S&P, NASDAQ all down a little bit today. Um, treasuries did sell off. Uh, the 10 year is about at a 309, 310, and the 30 year is at a, I believe 326, 327. Um, but surprisingly this week, um, munis have, you know, been really strong. And uh, today, the current read, I think we're seeing um, steady, if not slight bumps. And that does reflect the fact that uh, treasuries had outrun munis quite a bit at the end of June. Uh, those gains in that market uh, exceeded the gains in the muni market. So as is typical, our market was catching up somewhat over the last uh, week or so. Um, and then, of course, you know, next week we are going to get the most important economic uh, indicator of the month, at least right now, is the CPI data and see exactly what that inflation readout is as people try to figure out what's next uh, for the Fed. Um, but what else on the technical side of munis? I know there was some other uh, interesting news this week. Yeah, so, you know, Lipper reported 1.1 billion of inflows um, in Q2. I think there was only one week where we saw inflows. So, you know, where really the entire year, the store has been um, kind of a relentless, uh, you know, outflows from muni bond funds. Um, it was actually quite surprising to see inflows, but, um, you know, at some point, uh, you know, the question is, do people come in, do investors come in with all that cash that they've been sitting on the sidelines with and start buying it up? So uh, I think we could be seeing that. But, you know, again, uh, that's yet to, to really be seen at any point during the year. And if they do come, at least in the short term, there's not a giant menu of new issues for them to feast on. What kind of activity are you seeing in the uh, primary market? Yeah, so this week, uh, it was obviously um, only a four day week with July 4th. So uh, just shy of five billion. Um, but next week, uh, you know, we'll kind of get back to the normal course. Uh, so far, we're seeing about $9 billion. Um, Some of the most noteworthy deals uh, on the calendar will be uh, $2.2 billion in New York State Thruway, uh, state um, personal income tax bonds that will be sold in the competitive market, six series. Uh, there is a $1.1 billion Colorado Intermountain Healthcare. Uh, J.P. Morgan is bringing that one. And it definitely seems like infrastructure investment broadly is, is starting to pick up a lot of the money and the grants uh, from the federal bipartisan infrastructure law uh, are starting to be uh, applied for and, and starting to flow. So we'll see you know, if that impacts the, the new money market uh, in the second half of this year. Still a little time to see how quickly that plays out, but uh, uh, definitely a green shoot on the horizon. Thanks for your time this week, David. Uh, have a great weekend. We'll talk to you soon. All right. Thanks, Mike.